Hi and welcome back to another tutorial video. This time I'm gonna show you how to develop a simple files plugin. This tutorial is meant for people who are new to developing apps for Nextcloud. Please make sure that you've watched the previous video in the series about how to set up your development environment for Nextcloud, you're gonna need that for this tutorial. The tutorial will guide you through the steps to add an extra action if you click on the three dots icon next to a directory or file. Once again I'm gonna be doing this on macOS, but the instructions for how to do this on Windows or Linux are very similar. Let's get started. Alright, step 1. Download a skeleton app with the name Files Plugin and add the skeleton app to the apps-extra folder in your development directory. If you followed the tutorial about how to set up a development environment, you should find that folder in the root directory nextcloud-docker-dev workspace server. Next step. Open the directory of your skeleton app. The directory you see now is where we're gonna do our app development. Alright, step 3. Since our files plugin is written in JavaScript, we're gonna create a new folder called JS. In that directory, create a file called filesplugin.js. Open the filesplugin.js file with the text editor of your choice and paste the code that you find in the written tutorial linked down below. For step 5, please open the file application.php that you will find under lib app info. Then head over to the written tutorial and copy the code and paste it at the end of the construct function. Then navigate to line 9 right below the already existing use declarations and add the following three entries. The app is now ready to be used. The last step is to remove the navigation icon in the top bar because for this app we do not need a navigation item. For that, please open the file info.xml that you will find in the folder app info. For that, you want to remove the entries with the navigation tags that you will find from line 22 to line 25. Please make sure that you've saved all your changes and then head over to the app settings to enable your new app. You can now check if the app is working by opening the context menu for some files in the Files app. You should see your freshly added actions. Do you want to develop an app that does something other than displaying information of a file or do you want to develop a similar plugin for another app? This is all possible. There are existing pieces of code that use a similar structure that you can draw inspirations from. You can find all of that info linked down below in the written tutorial. Please let me know what kind of app you are working on at the moment and also let me know what other types of tutorial you would like to see. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!